In today's video, I'm going to talk about the tug of war that I'm seeing in cell gene. And actually, the other way to look at it is how we take this market from one decision to the next. Because I did find support in cell gene recently that did overlap some timing factors. Okay, the timing factors came in uh, 22nd through the 24th. And since the market was trading straight down into that time window, we were going to look for a low and reversal back up. And that's actually what we did end up seeing. And you can see that, um, well, some of these prior swings within the larger uptrend look kind of similar to the most recent decline into these lows. Okay, that's because some of them are similar. That's why I have those symmetrical projections in red. So I know that they actually come from you know, prior swings in the same direction. But with that being said, you also have to look at the pattern since the recent high was made. Because if you're looking at this data set instead of the larger data set, what you can see here is that this pattern is still a bearish pattern of lower lows and lower highs. So how can you look at this? Well, bottom line, if this last low is more important, the one that was made on top of the May 22nd, 24th cycles, and on top of some symmetry support, then we need to clear this resistance pretty quickly, um, anywhere between this 117.86 to 118.45 area, okay? If we can do that, then that would be a rally, basically, that is larger than these prior rally swings, which would also suggest that this low could be more important and that we should see at least a deeper upside um, correction instead, okay? So from this decision to this decision. But you may ask, what if we don't get through this resistance? Could you also use this for a sell zone? Absolutely, if your time frame is, you know, you're looking at this most recent pattern of lower lows and lower highs, and actually it would look like a bearish chart if you looked at, um, let's say a 30 minute or something like that, you know, if you want to use it that way, you can. The way that I'm looking at it because of this timing is that um, I'm really kind of waiting for this to clear this area to confirm this is a more important low. But I'm going to tell you, this is a decision that you can trade against on the short side if you'd rather look at it that way. Okay, but if you do, define your risk above that zone.